That's probably not good to breathe in. No. Hey, how's it going, pop-up campers? Welcome back to It's Poppin', where we talk about everything pop-up camper related. So in this video, I want to do some more pop-up camper myth busting. Now, specifically, what I'd like to do is I want to test what exactly happens when you take one of these 12-volt lights that you commonly find on the ceilings of your pop-up camper and put that directly onto your vinyl here, the exact same stuff that you see at the top of our canvas there. So we've got quite a bit of this nice canvas material and special thanks to Bear Creek Canvas for sending this out to me. I reached out to them. I didn't tell them who I was or anything like that. And I asked, hey, do you have any remnants or pieces that would otherwise be thrown out that you wouldn't mind sending me? Um, what I did is I offered to pay for shipping and they took me up on my offer and sent me a lot of this vinyl material for us to, you know, experiment with and, you know, do some testing on. So I, I got to come clean. This light right here did not cause the hole that you guys saw in the thumbnail. So um, unfortunately, it wasn't that extreme or maybe that is fortunate. Um, it wasn't that extreme, but uh, definitely stick around and see what caused this hole uh, at the end. However, <clears throat> getting back into the experiment, I wanna test two things that I think are pretty realistic in terms of what could happen to your pop-up camber vinyl. So the first thing I wanna test is what happens if you turn on one of these lights and leave it on for enough time for it to get as hot as it's gonna get. So in my testing, it's been about, about 10 minutes. This will get about as warm as it's gonna get. Then you turn it off and then you're super efficient at packing up your pop-up camper. You fold your canvas right onto this and it's left touching that hot surface. I wanna see what happens to your canvas for both LED lights. So here we have an example of one of our LED lights that we put in uh, our Jayco, for example. And over here, I have an incandescent that a lot of you are probably familiar with that come stock in these lights. So essentially I'm gonna test two conditions for that experiment. Now, what I'll probably do is I'll let those sit on there for about 10 minutes or so and see if there's any resulting damage to the vinyl. The second experiment I wanna do is I want to simply uh, turn on these lights, both the one with the LED and the one with the incandescent, wrap the vinyl around the light and just see how long it takes to melt through, if it melts through at all. We're gonna be under some time constraints. I can only safely monitor, you know, the, the lights for about eight hours um, and I don't wanna leave them unattended just in case they do cause a fire or something crazy like that. So we're gonna be a little constrained by time, but. I want to see any if anything happens within about six to eight hours of us turning on and wrapping those lights, see if there's any resulting damage. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, so here's our setup. We have, of course, our two lights, and on the left-hand side here, as you can see, we have our incandescent bulb. On the right-hand side, we have our LED, and simply have that. Both of those, of course, run into a deep cycle battery. So right off the bat, I did a little bit of pre-test experimentation, if you will. So I took one of the laser um, temperature guns and I wanted to just see what the difference in temperature between the LED and the incandescent light bulbs were. So I took a couple of measurements. The first one I took by putting the temperature thermometer, the thermometer gun, whatever you want to call it, right 
um, on the LED or uh, right on the bulb. So for the LED and the incandescent. And what I found was that the LED was 75.7 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas the incandescent was 143.7 degrees Fahrenheit. So almost twice as hot right on the bulb itself. Now, what I also did is I moved the um, temperature gun around a little bit and tried to find the hottest spot on the entire, on this entire kind of housing that I could. And it generally seemed like right above the light, it was its hottest. And for the LED, the hottest I saw was 89.0 degrees Fahrenheit. Whereas on the incandescent, it was 234.0 degrees Fahrenheit. So not quite three times hotter, but uh, almost. So definitely significantly hotter on the uh, incandescent bulb versus the LED bulb, which I'm sure will uh, show some different results. guys so we're at 10 minutes with the lights off let's see if it did any damage at all to the bottom of our vinyl here nope not at all so that's good news that uh, even if you're extremely quick at uh, popping down your pop-up you won't do any damage to your vinyl even if you're uh, even if you have incandescent light bulbs, let's check out the LED one here as well. And naturally, that one's just fine as well. guys so we're a little ways into this experiment I'm not sure exactly on time we'll have to go review the footage later but on the incandescent side it's it's actually you can feel it's melting and the texture of the vinyl is is melting away whereas on the uh, LED it's just fine so I think we're getting there as far as possibly burning a hole through this vinyl guys so gave it till about nine o'clock and unfortunately well let me show you we don't look like we have uh, really any results either on the incandescent here or the LED but I do tell you what incandescent has been consistently significantly hotter than the LED over here a couple things I think might be at play one we only have like one layer of um, vinyl over it. Obviously, if you're going to be in a situation where you close up your pop-up camper, it might have multiple layers kind of folded on top of each other, keeping in and retaining a lot of that heat. And two is, of course, this isn't in, in like an enclosed box. You know, there's a little bit of breeze rolling through, cooling off the um, outside layer of this vinyl here. So that might be dissipating some heat as well. So. Let's, uh, nevertheless, let's take a look and see if any damage was done to the inside of these at all after this many hours and uh, see if um, we have any results or if we have no results. But 
you know what no results is um, something as well so let's take a look I am seeing absolutely no burning deformation discoloration anything on the LED light here it looks looks just like it did when we put it on there earlier today so let's turn that off the lens is just fine I'm not seeing any same thing no burning or discoloration on that and then even on the back side of this I mean honestly it looks pretty normal I know on this front side part of the vinyl was slightly melting and some of that texture was going away but on the back side here it looks really normal like not burned or anything so it's still a little warm but not bad I kind of want to try tomorrow once we get some more light back trying to wrap the, the lights in maybe two three something or so layers of the vinyl because we have plenty of it and seeing if we can retain a little bit more of that heat all right guys unfortunately we've kind of run out of time for this second part of our little myth busting here and I think we're at right around five and a half hours with the three layers of vinyl so I'm gonna unwrap this and uh, see how it looks and there you have it actually the, the lens isn't burnt at all nothing like that and underneath the vinyl actually looks fine too huh yeah honestly it's kind of funny all of these look fine this one once again it looks like the texture slightly melted away but really no damage beyond that which seems pretty minor and mostly cosmetic Same with this one, it seems. No damage at all, and here's the underside of that first layer. Really no damage at all, and this one's not melted at all on the uh, top side of the vinyl, which is kind of to be expected. So in true Mythbusters fashion, if we don't get our desired results, or at least the results we expect, we gotta fabricate it, right? So I wanna actually see if this stuff actually burns. <laughs> oh, there she goes! Whoa! <laughs> okay, so what did we learn? Well, first and foremost, don't take a torch to your vinyl. <laughs> and uh, don't take a heat gun to your vinyl, especially in the garage, and set off the smoke detectors. That's not good. <laughs> but anyways, so in, in all seriousness, I think there's a few takeaways. And, and first and foremost, it's actually kind of promising in the sense that it seems to really take quite a while to do any sort of significant damage to your vinyl, even if you leave your lights on, your if your kill switch is somehow disabled, isn't working, etc. If your lights get left on in some form or fashion, there's a possibility that if you catch it in soon enough time that you won't really do serious damage to your vinyl. Um, however, on the flip side of that, it did seem like, and only with the incandescence, I will say, not the LEDs, but with the incandescence, there was a little bit of that melting of the vinyl after about 30 minutes. So. That was kind of unfortunate, but nevertheless interesting to see. Also on a positive note, of course, is the fact that even if your vinyl comes in contact with a hot um, light housing, so the or the lens for your lights, it's really not going to do any damage or melt at all, even if it goes on super quick and is pressed directly against it. So that's really positive and uh, you don't have to worry about damaging your vinyl in that regard now there were a few things i wish i could have controlled for some variables i wish i could could have controlled for better in this little experiment here and one of those i already mentioned but that is kind of controlling for some of the 
temperature variations and by that I mean just you know wind blowing across our, our lights and our canvas and stuff. Of course if it's in an enclosed box like your pop-up camper is you're not going to have much air movement and things like that. And then of course second there's the fact that if you leave these lights on um, on accident if these lights are left on you're probably not going to notice for days and days and days on end and really the only limiting factor to how long they'll be on is of course your 12 volt battery life so my assumption is that when we see these um, burns or holes in the top of vinyl and we've seen this in a few pop-up campers that we've looked at and of course including the Jayco that we bought they weren't horrendous and they weren't horribly big of course they can be patched but I'm going to guess that those were left on for, like I said, days and days and days and they got hot enough inside the pop-up camper that they actually melted the vinyl. So hopefully you guys found this at least a bit interesting and as always, hopefully we see you in the next video. If not, hopefully we see you out there camping.